footy in September is supposedly all about tension and pressure. Yet there was little evidence of that in the rooms prior to the third qualifying final between Manly and North Queensland, especially among the Sydney siders who welcomed Brett Stewart and Kieran Foran back from suspension. Cowboys winger Ashley Graham was given cause for that kind of concern after being booked for clocking Steve Matai. However, it was a penalty conceded by the Sea Eagles for hands in the ruck that presented Jonathan Thurston with the chance to get the scoring underway as the rank outsiders sought some early confidence. Kicking it towards the southern end, he puts the flags up. For the Cows, this affair was all about survival and they were keen to ask all the right questions of their opposition's defence. Put the kick across and they come in and it's all oh, Jim oh, Ashley Graham. The hand of William Hopawati was all that saved Manly as Neil Henry's men shifted the ball left. Here's a problem. They look to have an overlap. Knocked down by Manly's Hopawati. But their reprieve was only temporary because the repeat set rewarded North Queensland nicely for their patience. Thompson to Thurston. He rolls it in. Is a try for Tonga. Willie Tonga's got the first try of the night. And that's brave. But it's great vision. Steve Matai's renowned hairstyle was not to the liking of Matty Bowen, who was penalised for this curious incident. And the Cowboys fullback didn't appreciate this ruling on the edge of half time either. Dummy, dummy, give Bowen long, might be forward, fly, fly, Lord, now it's forward. That would have been a huge bonus for the team from Townsville, but they had to make do with an eight point advantage at the midway mark. It took a breakdown in the Cowboys' normally efficient left side attack to tilt the momentum in Manly's favour. Tried to put a ball inside, scooped up here by Rodney. Rodney's on his way, he's inside the 30, it's closing. Bolton makes the tackle. Rodney may have been reeled in, but just over a minute later, Hopawati finally put the Eagles on the board. Jerry Evans, Foran, Stewart in from the back. It's gone away to Hopawati, and Hopawati to the line. Hopawati scores for Manly, it's 8-4. Rodney was involved again soon after, albeit for the wrong reason, when he collected Corey Patterson across the scone and was placed on report. Play was held up for several minutes as the Cowboys back rower was stretched off in a neck brace as a precaution. It was Manly who coped best with the long delay and it was largely due to the remarkable skill of Kieran Foran. Gets it down to Cherry Evans, Cherry Evans gets it on to Foran, Foran oh, gets it to Stewart and the snake has gone in. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The 5'8 scrum base partner, Daly Cherry Evans, was just as sharp with this high kick causing all kinds of havoc. Bombs towards the uprights and they oh, it's hit the uprights. There'll be a try here. Yes, Anthony Watmo. Anthony Watmo has got the deflection off the steelwork. However, the number six and seven didn't have a mortgage on class, as Tony Williams showed that Giants can possess a deft touch as well. Tony Williams has found a no looker, and Stewart finds the line for a second tonight. 111 tries. Oh, gee, Ray, I reckon you've said that sometimes, and Stewart finds the line. Manly made hard work of their fifth try, with Jamie Lyon almost blowing it before Jamie Bura spared his skipper's blushes. Here's Cherry Evans and long to Lyon. Bounces, bounces, steps. Bura goes back. There should be a hole back there. He reaches out. I think Bura has scored. After some wonderful lead up on the left featuring Brett Stewart, Rookie of the Year Cherry Evans popped up again on the other side. And Cherry Evans attacks the blinds. I put a little kick in. Hopalotti's after him. Second for the night. Beautiful kick from this talented number seven. The early September weather might have been cold, but the Sea Eagles' conclusion to this contest was just blistering, and their seventh four pointer came in the space of just over half an hour. Gets it back and away. Now it's Morrow. Now it's Ballon. Ballon scores for Manly in the shadows of full time. 
Manly didn't just eject the Cowboys from the 2011 title race, they also beat the clock as well, scoring it better than a point per minute in the second stanza to earn themselves a week off and move to within one game of this year's Telstra Premiership decider. David Rollins, Big Pond Sport.